you too, uh, Cliff. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Two men in a truck and two dudes behind the microphone. Are, are, are we calling ourselves that day? Let's call ourselves that, Greg. Two, two dudes and a microphone. Two dudes. That goes well. That works well. Two then. dudes in a jetpack. Two men oh. in a truck and two dudes and a microphone. Day 19, <laughs> uh, the Christmas Kids Show tour, and uh, we are at Two Men in a Truck and uh, the Movers Who Care. In fact, uh, the early 1980s, uh, that's when it started as a way for two brothers to... Make some extra money while they were in high school. Now, 30 years later, the company has grown to more than 350 locations worldwide. We'll find out more about that. But the band is here, Greg. The choir is here. And, and we are happy about that. Village Green Environmental Study Schools. We've got some fourth and fifth graders that are going to blow you away. Let's hear some Christmas cheer. Nicely done. Nice. And, and Greg, one of the students had us on your hat. I mean, although yours is naughty, but mine's just not. Without the, with the, the yeah. minus the duct tape, there's a naughty uh, hat back, <laughs> Santa hat back there in the crowd. And uh, yes, we are live at Two Men in a Truck in uh, beautiful Port St. Lucie. And uh, one of the owners, Shauna Bledsoe, has joined us. In fact, mm -hmm. you guys do a lot, and we're going to talk about the history, but you do a lot as far as the community is concerned. Thank you first for having us here. And tell us about all the great things that you guys are accomplishing. Sure. Um, at Two Men in a Truck, we, we believe that the community has been good to us, so we want to be good to them. We want to give back. And one thing that um, I would like to announce is one of my charities is Safe Space. Um, and every year they have their annual Walk a Mile in Her Shoe event. Um, and this year, or well, actually next year, it's going to be February the 23rd, and it's going to be from 4 to 6 o'clock, and it's going to be out at Traditions. Anyone out there that would like to support this, be a sponsor of um, Safe Space, if you're not familiar with what Safe Space is, it is a domestic violence shelter. Um, and we, um, we, we advocate and we want to get out there in the community and let everyone know that there is a shelter for someone who is in a domestic um, abuse situation. Okay, so that is just one of the charities that, that we support. Um, we do support um, Tykes and Teens. We support um, the House of Hope. And um, we do also support Care Bags. So again, we have a lot of charities that we support, and it's just our honor to give back to each and every one of these um, these charities. And thank you so much for including us this year uh, for the first year, and I guess next year as well, right? Yes, absolutely. It, it is our first year, and we are so honored to be here and so blessed to have the children here. They did such a great job on their first song. We can't wait <laughs> to see what else that you have in store for us. And we will certainly hear more. In fact, it should be noted that um, um, with locations across the country, uh, you guys have donated hundreds and thousands of service hours to the community. In 2017 alone, uh, franchises donated more than $3 million worth of moving services. Wow. That is a lot. Right, yes. You know, 
Two men on truck across the country. We're not the only one that believes in giving back. Two men on truck international. Um, that that is what that is their 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 theme is to give back to the community. And you know when we purchase this franchise, this is something that they instilled into us. That you know you go out to the community. They've been good to you. Mm -hmm. You give back to them. You know, and it's such a great blessing that, you know, we are able to do that. Very good. So neat. And let's hand yeah. the mic over to Jim, your husband. And Jim, I, I, I briefly touched on the history of uh, two men in a truck, but could, could you elaborate a little more on that? You know, like you said. And put that mic right up there. It was there you go. 19, I think it was around 1985 that uh, actually one woman, to help out her sons, mm -hmm. decided that, you know, we're, what we're going to do is you're going to move some little things around and and she started this little truck that she had it was just a little box truck and That's so she cool. said she said what you could do is actually go out and do some moving so before that they had actually been moving trash and everything else trying to make money for college the boys mm -hmm. and she said well let's let's move it up a little notch so she bought them that little box truck she come up with the little stickman figure inside of a truck for the logo <laughs> and they started doing some moving well it just blossomed from there it got so big that she actually had to buy more trucks uh had to hire some people mm -hmm. and from there it's just all history i mean all the locations we have now we have over three thousand trucks on the road wow. through all the locations and it's it's just been a great thing so you know you mentioned that logo that mm -hmm. is the coolest logo i mean it looks like it was designed by I don't know, maybe a seventh or eighth grader. Yeah. I mean, but, but it, look, I mean, it sticks out. I mean, you got two stick men behind a wheel of a of like a cartoon truck. Well, actually, what she did, she drew that figure on a napkin in a restaurant. Okay. And no way. She said that's she took awesome. that and she said, "Can you put this on the truck?" And that's how I got started. That's very cool. So it's registered trademark. And it's, it's, it's been great being with Two Men in a Truck. We're very happy. We're happy that we purchased this franchise. Uh, they're very good to us. They support us very good, international Two Men in a Truck. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a great thing. And Jim, I, I got to mention, I got to let, let everybody know, because when, when I first heard you speak, I said, uh, Jim, uh, let's see, Delaware, South Jersey, or Philly, where are you from? He said Ohio. That's yeah. right. I'm, I'm like, well, I'm hey, I, mean, I, mean, I, 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 was, I guess I was close. No, not at all. <laughs> and and kind of like I just told you was, you know, I, I always heard Mr. G on the radio. And I look nothing like that. He says I look, I sound, I look much older than sounds. I sound on the radio. Yeah. So Jim is our one listener in the morning, right? <laughs> oh, Jim, he's there, hey. he's there in the morning. I tell That's you what, sure. I listen to Swap Shop. It's a great thing. I love WPSL <laughs> and what they're doing for the community. I love the Christmas Kid charity that they run. I know this is the first year I was able to get involved in it, but I sure do look forward to being involved in it more. Okay, well, very good. And we'll talk more about uh, Two Men in a Truck. In fact, we're going to talk with your marketing person, uh, Fabiola Simon, uh, in a few. But first, let's hear some more great Christmas harmonies and some Christmas cheer uh, from Village Green Environmental Study School, the uh, fourth and fifth graders.
nice indeed. Nice. Village Green Environmental Study School under the direction of Cynthia Reynolds. And Cynthia, if you take the mic for a second, we know and we love this time of the year when we can come and hear uh, Christmas carols. And I'm sure, uh, hopefully, we haven't missed your Christmas carol program at the school. Oh, no, sir, you have not. So mark your calendars. It's next Thursday at 6 o'clock at our school. Now, what's special about this program is it's our annual kindergartners, but I have my fifth graders who are in the choir here. They are going to do the dramatic scenes of the play. And our a show is called Christmas at the OK Corral. Ooh. <laughs> and so part of the choir that you're hearing today, they have the speaking parts. So it's all about a Western scene. And that Christmas might be going away because Bubblegum Bart, he's just a bad dude. <laughs> and, you know, we have to let him know that he needs to be good. Good to us. Uh, are you so, Bubblegum Bard? Yes, we have oh. Bubblegum Bard. Oh, oh, so okay. she's with us. <laughs> but we have the mayor will be there. And we'll have, um, um, we have our shopkeeper. We have an ice cream keeper. We have, oh, Santa Claus, mm -hmm. Candy Cane Kid. All right. And of course, we have, um, we have also the librarian. And we have um, when Betsy. And uh, we just have all of our, oh, we have a, a, a a shopkeeper and a um, barber. Okay. So we have them all. Very so nice. it's next Thursday mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock at Village Green Elementary. Very good. Thank you so much. In fact, I just cool. watched Tombstone last night. <laughs> Did you I'm really? I just watched it last night. Holy Terry shit. Davis, the principal at uh, the Village Green Environmental Study School. Now, long title Environmental Study School. Can you break that down for sure, us? Sure, I'm, I'm happy to do that. And thanks for this opportunity, as always, to be here. Really like having our kids out there and performing. Um, Village Green Environmental Study School, what we do is we teach the Florida curriculum standards, but what we try to do is teach those through environmental means. So instead of just reading about plants in a book, we have a, a number of gardens, and our students work in those gardens. And mm. in just this past uh, Thanksgiving, during our annual Turkey Day event, uh, third graders work and harvested some of the um, salad greens for that salad on that day. Oh, wow. For, in addition, in, in, <laughs> instead of just teaching about the, the stars and galaxies and so forth, we uh, actually have some astronomy nights in January for fifth graders where they will do a scavenger hunt and find galaxies and stars and things like that at night. So we try to um, teach the curriculum, but through the environmental studies kind of lens so that we can develop good stewards for our environment in the future. Hmm, that's very interesting. So they've that's got a hands-on. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Very nice. And well, Terry Davis, thank you so much for stopping by thank today you and, for then, having us. and uh, providing these uh, gifted kids here today, man. We're hearing all that oh. great harmony, and we'll hear some more. Now, wait a minute. You know some of Well, my, my granddaughter Jada goes to this school, and uh, uh she's, you know, it's funny because I do uh, a lot of the schools when they do these uh, pizza and um, candy parties, when they sell a candy bar, they sell a certain amount, they get a pizza party and they get a DJ that comes there. And I've, I've been doing them all throughout the county. And I mentioned this to Jada and she didn't know about the program. She didn't know. All of a sudden, now she's sold a whole bunch of candies. Now she's going to be at the party. She's like, well, hey, my, my, my grandpa's not going to be a, you know, have a DJ party at my school and me not be involved. So, so she's going to be one of the. And there's a, there's a few students here so, that are going to be involved in that party as well. So I'm looking forward to having So can we still get the chocolate or no? Is that, it done? I, I think it's all. Done? I, think, I think the sales are over. I'm sure uh -huh. yeah. our, our school will, will never pass down an opportunity <laughs> to, to, to make, to, to, for a fundraiser, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Very good. So we, that's fun there. Hey, um, let's talk to the uh, marketing director, uh, Fabiola Simon. And I, and I wanted to ask you, I mean, I'm... Um, well, you know, firstly, I, I need to move, and I've got a whole house full of stuff. What is the process? How do you guys determine what's this? And I saw online that they perhaps can get a quote online, but do your guys actually come out to the house and, and, and start from square one? We do. Something that I love so much about this company is we're very personable. So we don't just send just anybody. We send our on-site guy. His name is John. Mm -hmm. Very, very great, friendly guy. He will be the one that is scheduled to arrive at your home and do kind of an estimate of what you got 
got going on, how much stuff you have, things of that nature. And he'll give that information back to our girls here, um, which we call our CSRs, and they will set you up with the estimate and give you all the numbers and details. And of course, there's all, I'm, I'm sure there's all kind of different, um, different situations or different mm -hmm. packages that for, perhaps maybe, well, I'll pack my own stuff. I just need you to come and get it and put it on the truck. And that's fine too. That's kind of like um, just a regular move. We don't, we don't necessarily have to do a pack move and store, mm -hmm. but we can just do a move in general. And if your house is under 2,000 square feet, then John may not have to come. And you can just talk to the girls over the phone and they'll be able to help you like that. Now, when you say store, I mean, now there's, do you guys provide storage as well? We do. The wonderful thing is you guys are helping us break in our brand new building. So you guys are one of our first visitors to ever be in this building here. So welcome. Um, but we do now offer on-site storage. We do have two warehouses. I'm pretty sure they gave you a tour already, but we do have two warehouses where we can now do on-site storage for all of our customers. Hmm. On the other side of this wall yes. is the warehouse. <laughs> oh, okay. It's spectacular yes. in there. It's wild. Yeah. Now, now if, say, um, and, and I think this is very cool. I saw this on the website. I mean, maybe you can explain it in more detail. I perhaps have just bought a big piece of furniture from one of the furniture stores in town and can't get it to my house. Mm -hmm. You can help me. Of course, we can definitely help you. It's kind of like our rent a guy kind of service. Like if you just have a dining room set that you just bought from a local thrift store or anything like that, we'll set up a nice truck and maybe a guy or two to come and help you pick it up from the thrift store and drop it off at your home and also place it where you want it to be placed as well. Very good. Wow. That, that, uh, that all the story. And, and you know, <laughs> um, uh, I made a panic-stricken phone call to Jim, and this was, uh, oh, wow, a couple months ago, I guess, when the Treasure Coast Food Bank said, we've gotten two pallets of toys, and we don't know what to do with them, so we called you. So I called Jim, and I said, and they needed them out by, I guess they were doing inventory or something, mm -hmm. needed them out immediately. So, and, and Jim's crew was there, packed them up, took them to St. Lucie County Community Services, and uh, we can't thank you guys. Well, and I uh, wanted to I mention to Jim, because truck, this, he's know? offering this. I mean, um, you're, you're donating. Here, let me let you talk about it, because you're donating. When, when someone donates a toy, you're going a step further than that. That's correct. What we did, uh, you know, like I said, I didn't have the opportunity to meet uh, Greg and Carol until earlier this year and they're such wonderful people and I, they just tell me about their Christmas kids and mm -hmm. I just wanted to get involved all I could for yeah. Christmas kids. So Greg signed me up for this number one and then I thought well maybe I can go a little step further and what I'll do is any customer that we move, if they donate a new unwrapped toy, I'll take $20 off their bill. Mm -hmm. I don't care if the toy is five bucks, mm -hmm. you know, just, just the so toy. Cool. And uh, so we started this in November, and we've got quite a few toys back oh, yeah, you to take back with us. <laughs> and uh, we want to start it earlier next year so we can see if maybe we can collect a whole lot more to help out a lot of kids. I mean, we, we know you're working for St. Lucie County. We're actually... Uh, our territory covers Martin County, St. Lucie County, and Indian River County. So we're trying to help out everywhere we can in all the counties, but this is a good one here for St. Lucie County, and we just love it. And so. Martin County, of course, has kind of our counterpart, uh, White Dove, through the United Way down there. So, yeah, it's, uh, that's a wonderful program, too, yeah. in Martin County. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, wonderful. Jim, we certainly appreciate you. Thank, and thank you, you so much. Thank you for being on board this year. And uh, Jim basically rounds out um, uh, all of our shows uh, because, obviously, Lexus and St. Lucie Medical Center are both in for next year as well. So that means everybody who's done a show this year will be back again next year. So uh, it's and very cool. We're glad to be back again next year. And, and like I said, hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll have to fill up one of our own trucks to take the toys we collect Ooh, next year. Oh, that'll be a lot of toys. That, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Two men in a truck, the movers who care. Great. Thanks yeah. a lot. We appreciate that. So uh, cool. Let's hear again from the um, Village Green Envi Environmental Studies School. We're talking fourth and fifth grade choir and their beautiful harmonies. Let's hear it.
<laughs> I like uh, it. Bill is green in my mental study school. Greg, and you know, and I, we we're missing Carol today, but Carol would probably be telling us about the the shopping and uh, the packing and all that good stuff. Now, yeah. What's they, going on with that right now? Well, uh, once again, I have managed to escape the packing because mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I'll be out of town with IRSC. But uh, tomorrow is the uh, final packing day. Obviously, we give away the toys on Wednesday, um, and so all of our volunteers. Uh, We'll uh, be there uh, packing the final bags, and then uh, we will give them all away. We have the sheriff's office uh, has arranged to uh, have the, their folks uh, there as well uh, for the toy giveaway. It should be neat. It really should be nice. And uh, uh, we can't thank uh, all the businesses that have been involved in this because uh, we couldn't do it without them. Uh, of course, the crazy runners, uh, Alan and Sorcelli, <laughs> with the Sugar Plum Run, which was uh, ridiculously successful. And that will go to fund our uh, infant and toddler swimming program uh, in St. Lucie County for the spring. Mm-hmm. So, and, and, of course, Annie Crumbo has got the uh, golf tournament, and that is earmarked uh, specifically for uh, the swim program. So, um, Fabiola, if we can just ask you one quick question. Um, uh, Carol would ask about your favorite memories. So, uh, favorite Christmas favorite memory. Favorite Christmas memory. My favorite Christmas memory. Wow, put me on the spot. But um, I would say when I first started dating my husband, he didn't know what to get me for Christmas. And we both attended Indian River State College. And he got me a whole bunch of swag that said Indian River State College. <laughs> <laughs> and the gesture was nice, but it was stuff that I would not pick for myself. So I've got some in the car if you want some of that. <laughs> no, the, oh, no, thank okay. you. I got a bunch that year. <laughs> so so, so are, are you the type that doesn't want to get a, a vacuum cleaner or an appliance for a gift from your husband? Um, it depends on what I ask for that year. <laughs> if I ask for it, then yeah, sure. Oh, okay, so you, so you don't mind getting an appliance? No. Oh, okay. No, but that year he just had no idea what to get me. I mean, we've been together for 10 years now, and that year was just... Mm. <laughs> He did. We did, were just getting to know each other, so it was fun. That was my favorite <laughs> memory. IRC bling. There you go. Listen to that, Coach Charlie. Oh, uh, don't get any for your wife. Oh. <laughs> so, Greg, we've only got what? Two more, two more shows? Two more shows. Look, Greg, every year this sneaks up. Well, not, it doesn't sneak up on us, but every year in November comes and goes, oh, wow, it's that time again already. And then every year... It goes just like that. Well, see, maybe for you. Oh, excuse these me. These shows will all be assigned by the second week of January. Oh. So, it's, yeah, it, and it's amazing. We'll get with the schools. Uh, I think, what was it, August, I think, is when we start contacting the schools. So, yeah, yeah, it's... Um, it's a year-round thing, and uh, and we've already got the date set for next wow. year. So. And, and two more shows this year. Of yep. course, Monday will be at uh, Lexus of the Treasure oh. Coast Lincoln Park Academy Orchestra. And uh, then um, Tuesday, uh, the uh, Village Green uh, Quintet will be at the St. Lucie Medical Center, closing the whole year out. And we did talk to George Roming, and he will talk to Laura, who we will see uh, uh, on Monday as well at LPA. My vision of Lexus is the choir going up the, the spiral stair- stair- yeah. spiral staircase and the symphony orchestra and and I think they're going to do it next year. Yeah, because we've, we've that envisioned be, that for several years now, oh, but it hasn't that happened. That would be so cool. That would be nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we're looking so, forward to yeah. that. Yeah. And again, uh, Village Green Elementary, I mean, uh, Environmental Study School, we certainly thank you. We thank all the great folks at Two Men in a Truck. And if you can, uh, take us out with another one of those fabulous um, Christmas carols, I should say, for fourth and fifth graders from the Environmental Study School at Village Green. And Village Green will be with us at the hospital on mm-hmm. Tuesday. Yeah. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Oh, 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 oh. Bells on box to ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride a secret sleigh song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells. Dashing
he would stick it. Got a question? Ask a rabbi with Rabbi Shafir Lowe.